Motor Week is made possible by Lucas Oil, TireRack.com, and RockAuto.com. Do you have a license? Do you have a car? Do you like driving fast? If you answered yes to all three of those questions, I'm doing something you might just be interested in. Let's face it, driving fast is fun, but there aren't many ways to do it safely, let alone legally. And that is where autocross comes in. Today we're out here at an autocross that our club puts on twice a year at uh, Summit Point Raceway. And it allows us to get novice and experienced drivers to get the opportunity to push their cars to the limit in a safe, low consequence way. The basics of autocross are, well, basic. A course is set up in a parking lot, or in this case, a skid pad. And the object is to drive it as fast as you can while hitting as few cones as possible. What you get here is you get a lot of experience, many, many corners, very tightly controlled, and no, no real chance of injuring your car other than maybe running over a cone. Still, safety is paramount at any motorsports event, which is why this one starts with a brisk track walk, followed by a driver's meeting. In a vehicle, wristband, and helmet on. Finally, it's time to burn some rubber. So at an event like this, there, there's a wide variation of skill levels. Uh, today, we had a group of about 20 drivers that this is their first time at any kind of a track event where they've driven their car in any kind of anger. So I've never autocrossed. I've gotten behind the wheel of race cars before. It's a little nerve wracking, but it's like anything else, especially with a car, you, you have to take some time. There's a learning curve. And for some, learning curves can be addictive. I had my first school about 10 years ago, and then it's been on and off. And then the past two years, I've been doing it on a regular. Uh, I love the controlled environment that we're in. I can push my car to its limits and learn a lot about my car as well. Occasionally brag to the guys as well. The unique thing about autocross is the compact courses level the playing field. So a high horsepower car isn't nearly as important as driver skill which is why I was able to take this 2022 Volkswagen Jetta GLI and keep pace with some of the Ferraris. On a day like today, there's a great variation of cars. I mean, we have everything from uh, Porsches to BMWs, Corvettes, all the way up to uh, my 488 Pista. It's like a Cars and Coffee. You get to see some amazing vehicles and you get to drive. I mean, you get to drive as quickly as you can. Me, not so great, but some of these folks, and they are very, it's, it's incredible what they can do with their vehicles. I think the club's great. I think, you know, everybody's very like-minded in what they want to do, you know? Everybody wants to push their cars to the limits, um, and everybody is just great. You can sit with anybody, drive with anybody as well, you know? It's, they're all, they're all really, cool. it's a cool group. I'll tell you, there's lots of different ways to get into autocrossing. In particular, in, in this area, mostly it's through the car clubs. Um, but with our car club, uh, it's the Ferrari Club of America, but you don't have to own a Ferrari to be a member. And uh, we welcome anybody who wants to get involved. So whether you're seeking a social hobby or just want to exercise your right foot, maybe it's time to give autocross a try. 